This is Patrick Weed, and I apologize I haven't shaved yet today. I will, because I know my wife will watch this and say, please go shave. And I apologize if Yael is a little bit loud. Um, she's over here playing. I'm doing this on my computer today. Um, I thought it would be interesting. I've done a decent amount of videos on um, Islam and different aspects of Islam and like Islam in the U.S., and I have a very good friend who um, works with Foursquare, who has uh, been in the Middle East for a very long time. Um, they're back in the States now. But however, he does updates on uh, things of the Jewish faith, um, because that's what they um, faced a lot while they were in uh, Israel. Anyways, all that to say, the next holiday that's coming up for the Jews is um, Yom Kippur. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and there was this video that was put out, and I thought it was very interesting. And I'll share a little bit of my thoughts after you get a, a quick look at it. And uh, it should be pretty short, so check it out. The next holiday on the Jewish calendar is the Day of Atonement. In Hebrew, Yom Kippur. In the context of the Jewish faith, it's the day for reconciling mankind back to God after man's rebellion against the way God set out for us to live in the Torah, which was given to Moses by God. In modern Israel, Jews spend the day fasting from food and drink for 26 hours. It is illegal to work and not accepted to even drive on this day. Many walk to the Western Wall in Jerusalem and cry out to God, afflicting themselves, begging for His forgiveness. <laughs> But most admit they are uncertain as to whether or not they have done enough to attain that forgiveness. Throughout the Torah, we read of mankind's disobedience to their Creator, God, and we read of God's system for forgiving that disobedience. The earliest example is with the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden. When they ignored God's instructions and ate from the forbidden tree, God killed an animal and used its skin to clothe Adam and Eve. The first sin and the first blood shed, the first sacrifice, the first Kippur. Throughout the Jewish Bible, we read prayers and promises that God would provide a more permanent atonement as opposed to the constant animal sacrifices and yearly day of atonement. To Messianic Jews and Gentile believers around the world, this prophecy was clearly fulfilled by Yeshua, Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So I cut out some of the main points of what I felt like the uh, the video was talking about and some of the main aspects that really kind of caught my attention. If you'd like to watch the uh, full video, I'm going to try to put a link to it right here somewhere, right there, boom, right there. No, can't make it sideways. Boom, right there. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, yeah, I just found it really interesting that, you know, you have so many different religions, such as, like, Islam and things around the world that are, like, anti-Christianity, and then you have the Jews who are, like, so close. And I appreciate how this video, video ended with expressing that um, Jesus was our belief of the last sacrifice that needed to be made as atonement for our sins, and I appreciated how they stated that. Um, I find it interesting, though, that so many um, Jewish people are like this close in the fact that they know um, God's laws and they know a lot of the history, but they've yet to really um, see the fact that Jesus was the fulfillment to a lot of the things that they believe. And so um, I just thought it'd be interesting to put that up um, in a recognition of Yom Kippur. Um, I appreciate different um, cultures and different religions, and I enjoy sharing them. So I hope that was a little informative for you guys, and I will talk to you later. All right, dasidanya.